Drop shotting has been around in Call of Duty for as long as just about any player you talk to now can remember. It's one of the best ways to evade bullets and stay alive. In Black Ops 2, drop shotting is even more effective. With the increased recoil, your gun is shooting up in the air while your target is going down to the ground, making it very tough for you to stay on target. But don't worry, there is a way to outplay the drop shotter. This is Main Stage News, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to counter the drop shot. One of the biggest vulnerabilities that drop shotters have is the fact that they do have a lot of reduced movement. As you can see here, I'm playing on about out of 12 sensitivity and standing around spinning you can spin around pretty friggin fast but as soon as you go prone and try to spin around try to move you really can't do much at all also in black ops 2 if you touch the left stick at all when you're on the ground your guy will kind of try to army crawl and basically it's not going to allow you to shoot these are things that you have to take advantage of whenever somebody tries to drop shot you so you might be asking you know how exactly do you use that to your advantage how are you going to use them not being able to move very well to your advantage well one of the things that you can do is just simply strafe i mean this is fairly obvious it's something that's insanely easy to do and it can really screw with them but an even better way to do this is to jump and strafe at the same time a lot of the time players just don't expect it at all. Jumping and strafing left or right at the same time is by far the best way to counter the drop shot. Now this is easier said than done. With a regular controller it can be fairly hard to hit the jump button and then get your finger right back on the analog stick to start aiming at the guy again. Personally I actually use a scuff controller which I highly recommend. I did buy one myself. I don't make that YouTube money. I'm not getting anything from promoting their product. So you really can trust me and the scuff controller really does help you a lot. Right here you can actually see the army crawl thing that I was talking about a second ago. He probably just barely touched his left stick at all, and for like a good half second, he can't do anything. He can't shoot his gun. He is 100% vulnerable to me being able to strafe, jump, do my thing to get a kill on him. But that really is all that there is to this. It does take some practice, but once you get it down and you have the reaction time to be able to move quick enough to get the guy, countering a drop shot really isn't too tough. But that's all I have for this video, you guys. If you guys liked the video, if I helped you out at all, definitely hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If you have something to say, drop your comment comment below maybe you're having some troubles with this anything i can help with or maybe you guys would like to see me do a video on how to drop shot i think it's fairly obvious by now call of duty has been around for a good five years but if you guys really want me to make a video on how to drop shot i without a doubt will so drop those comments below telling me what you guys thought and if you're just now stumbling across my video maybe you'd like to subscribe to get more videos like this i promise you won't regret it and i'll talk to you guys later thanks bye